is the freaking name of the thing. Is it recording? There, okay. Hey guys, I got this in the mail today. After months of waiting, it's finally here. It's my Pokemon Mega Box it's supposed to be, but it looks quite small. Getting this box has been frustrating, to say the least. <laughs> I ordered it in the middle of March. It was supposed to ship on the 1st of April, but um, when I looked at the status, because there was supposed to be tracking on their site, um, which I paid for, it was still just processing. It's still processing, like, the, since I ordered it. I've never gotten a tracking or anything. Anyway, <clears throat> so I sent them an email asking about if there was a problem or like if I could get the tracking for my box or if they didn't send it yet or like what was up. And I never got a reply, so I sent another email a week later, didn't get a reply, waited I think one or two weeks. So then I sent them a message on Facebook and I got a reply that was something like right now it's like 5 a.m. in 5 in the morning in Japan and like I'll check later <laughs> and I was like okay great and then later that day the person said it was a national holiday in Japan and they couldn't answer me or check until like a week later I was like okay fine that's fine um then it was like two weeks later and I asked, so do you have any news about my box? And they said, oh, I can't, I, like, I don't see like the order statuses of anything. So, but I checked with the warehouse and they say, said they already shipped all the boxes. So it's probably fine. And I was like, okay, thanks, I guess. And it was like a month later or something. And I still hadn't got my box. So I sent them another message on Facebook, but no one answered. So I sent them a message on Instagram because I saw they were always posting stuff on Instagram and that person was like, oh, it's it's like the weekend and it's really early. So I'll answer you later. <laughs> OK, then they said, oh, it's it's COVID. We we can't do anything about it. It's it's um, everything is closed everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Look at this list here with all the countries that we can't send to. And I'm like. Well, I'm in Iceland and um, you can, you can send to Iceland. I already checked the list um, and they were like, oh, oh, then that's weird. You should have gotten your box by then. I was like, yeah, um, let me check. No reply, <laughs> no updates. And I was like, Jesus, why is it so hard for me to get the tracking for this freaking box? And then finally I got a email. Uh, about like we're dealing with every single package um, head-on so can you reply to this email and tell me if your package or like your problem has been sorted and we'll get back to you personally like this person will get back to you and we'll like figure it out so I um, responded to that email never got a reply and I was like this is this is crap like can you just check the freaking tracking and send it to me? Then today, I suddenly get a text message from my post office like, Hey, there's a shipment to you. Shipment to you? And I'm like, oh, great. So it's here, finally. And when I look at the stamp from when it was like shipped, it says it was shipped 5th of June when it was supposed to be sent the 1st of April. So that's pretty weird. Yeah, it says it's supposed to be six um, like limited edition items or something. And on this it says there's three. So if there are only three items in this box and I'm gonna have to talk to them and complain again because this was a hundred dollars. I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna cry. <sighs> yeah, so my Japan box, you gotta step up your game. 
So this is very exciting. And I swear, if I'm gonna get like only Tokipi stuff or some like shit Pokemon stuff, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay. Okay, it's more, it looks like more than a three. So that's fun. Okay, first of all, we have a bag or it's like a folder for your stuff. Okay, it's like a Pokemon folder thing. That's with the Pikachu's on it and Cher, Cher? Yeah, Pikachu's and Cher. Okay. And then we have, are you kidding me? Kure, put in it. Put in it. Then we have a Pikachu, it says pocket monsters on it. Little Pikachu, uh, it's like a wallet thing, or like a coin bank thingy. I'm not as angry anymore. What is this? Oh. It's surfetched! Like evolved form of farfetched from the Gala region. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Then we have the evolved form of Gurky. I know Rillaboom is the big one, but I don't re remember what this one is. What his name is? Don't remember, and I can't read Japanese. So this was actually my starter choice. So I would have rather gotten Gurky, but. It's fine. It's fine. A Pikachu with a hat. Me and my friend were actually like joking about me getting Pikachu with a hat or Eevee with a hat because in Pokemon Go there's like endless amounts of Pikachus and Eevees and like with different kinds of hats and it's so annoying because they just fill up your Pokebox. Excuse me. Yes, you can. This is yours. You can have this one. Um. So this is like a Pikachu with a hat on a chain. I think Gure wants to keep this one, so I think I'll let him. Huh. There you go. You can take it. So the Pikachu is, Gu is Gure's toy now. <laughs> See you later. Okay, there are two more items. Oh, it's like a mystery... Um, what's a snura? Uh, like a charger, a mystery. What the frick is the freaking name of the thing? Cable, cable holder. I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside. I got a torchic one. It's like a little sleeping torchic. If you can see that. The last item is a. Oh, oh my gosh! Please, please give me a good one. It's like a mystery pokeball. What are they called? At, at, no. It's like a Pokeball with stuff inside. I don't know what they're called. Uh -huh. Please give me a good one. It's a Chikorita and... Chikorita and a Whooper! This is the thing I was talking about. It's like a Pokeball with a Whooper and a Chikorita in it. That's pretty cool. Was it worth the hundred dollars plus shipping and the stuff I had to pay at the post office, which was twenty dollars? No, or fifteen dollars maybe. Mm, probably not. <laughs> and definitely not worth the freaking hassle with the company. I mean, this stuff is legit. Um, it's like good quality items, but I would not want to do this again even though I love Pokemon, but this company's attitude and like their lack of trying to help their customers, I guess, is really weird. Like, I know COVID happened. Like, if you don't even respond to your emails, mm, that's not got good customer service. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'm just so thankful that this is finally here and I can stop worrying about this and I will see you again soon. Bye!